in IIT Foundation Maths, we'll see the square root of a number. So in this video, we'll understand how to find the square root of any number. So I'll explain you this topic in two different methods. One is a prime factorization method and one is the division method. So a number n is called the square root of a number n square. Now n we can call square root of a number n square that is n into n. 6 is a square root of 6 square that is 6 into 6 so 36 so 36 square root is 6 square root symbol will use square root of 36 is 6 similarly 9 is the square root of 9 square that is 9 into 9 81 so if it is the number is simple so one digit or two digit so we can find out easily the number is more than three digits four five like that a big number is given in the form of thousands sort of lakhs so then we have to use some methods for this so i'll explain you in two methods one is prime uh, factorization method and second is division method now let us see this uh, two methods in briefly first prime factorization method in prime factorization method So we'll see this method first. So here the term used prime. By pr using prime numbers, we need to start division. So divide. So the prime numbers are starting from 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on. So these are the prime numbers. Now if any number is given, we have to write that number in the form of product of prime numbers. Okay, I will take one example 3600. 3600. Now this I have to divide. Otherwise I have to write in the product of prime numbers. So that is, if you divide this, now 3600 is divisible by 2. So this last is 0. The first prime number is 2. If it is not divisible by 2, then you can take go for 3. Now, if you divide it to 2, 1800, so 3600. Again, continue this process until you get, until you complete this uh, process. Again, you take 2 because it's divisible by 2. Again, 2, 900, 800. Again, you can take 2, 2, 450 is a 900. So you can continue this process. Again, it's two table. It's two, two is a four, two twenty five. Now it is not divisible by two. The next prime number is three. So it is divisible by three. Yes, two plus two four, four plus five nine. Now take the next prime number. Next prime is three. 3 7 is a 21 and 1 carry 15 3 5 is a 15 now is 75 again it is divisible by 3 7 plus 5 yeah 3 table 3 2 is a 6 15 so 3 25 is a 75 again 25 it is not divisible by 3 now then next prime number is 5 now take the 5 5 5 is a 25 Again, finally, 5, 1 is a 5. So, until you get 1, you continue this process. Now, we can write 3600 in the form of product of prime numbers. 
that is 3600 is can write 2 into 2 into so now these are all you can multiply which are given here 2 1 2 3 4 times so 2 into 2 into into 2 and into 2 again 3 is 2 times so 3 into 3 again 5 is 2 times so 5 into 5 now 2 is 4 times you can write 2 to the power 4 3 is 2 times 3 power 2 5 is 2 times 5 power 2 now I need to find out the square root for this so for every 2 2 if I take you get the square root so 3600 value is 2 power 4 into 3 power 2 into 5 power 2 therefore apply square root both sides square root of 3600 is same square root of 2 to the power 4 and 3 to the power 2 and 5 to the power 2 so square and square root to cancel we need power 2 then you just simplify this 2 to the power 4 I can write 2 square or all square into 3 square into 5 square now all the squares together you write 2 square into 3 into 5 all together all square and then you can cancel a square root and 2 Just cancel this both the remaining is 2 square into 3 into 5 so 2 square is 4 into 3 into 5 4 is a 12, 12 5 is a 60. So 60 is the square root of 3600. So this is the prime uh, prime factorist method. The any number is given, we will write in the product of the primes. So let us take one more example, the same method. So I'll take here. So we'll take one simple example. Six hundred and twenty-five. Now this I have to find out the square root of this using the same uh, prime factorization method. So prime numbers are two, three, five, seven, so on. First prime number is two, but this is not divisible by two. Next to three, so six plus two eight, eight plus five is thirteen. Thirteen is not divisible by three, so three is not divisible. Next to five. Last number is 5, right? So we can divisible this 5. So only with the prime numbers only we need to do division. So 5 on the 5, 1 carry 12, 5 2 is a 10, 5 25. So 5 125 is a 625. Again continue with 5 table. 5 25 is a 125. Again 5 5 is a 25. 5 1 is a 5. Finally 625 I can write. 5 to the power 4 because 5 is 4 times apply the square root root 625 is equal to root 5 to the power 4 so this is 5 power 4 I can write 5 power 2 whole square so square root and cancel then 5 square is equals to 25 so 25 is the square root of 625 so this is the prime factorization method this first one now same actually prime factorization is a long process we need to check all the prime numbers and we should continue till ending until we reach one instead of this this division method is a shortcut so this is the actually shortcut method now we'll see this division method So instead of doing in factorization, we can do the same finding the square root of uh, any number using this uh, division method also. So let me explain this division method. Yeah. Let us see this uh, division method how to do very simple any problem is given. Let us we'll take the same example like previous. 
3600 right so I have to find out the square root of 3600 now for this number so we have to make the pairs from the right side towards the left 2 2 I will see here 3600 from right side you have to make 2 2 pair right side 0 0 next to 3 6 now we need to do division this so here first one is 3 6 that is 36 now 36 is near to which square root that is 6 6 the 36 accurately so we can write 6 here 6 6 the 36 is the first step next subtraction if you subtract this this is 0 and next set you can take both zeros down then we can take 6 becomes double that is 12 so 12 we can take 120 zeros zeros you will get 0 so 3000 600 square root is 60 this is the place so whatever number we can make this double so because you are getting last only zeros you will be confused maybe let me take this previous example 625 I explain this example 625 so our method is we should take from right side 2 to 25 next only one is there nothing more you can keep this data now 625 from right side to 1 1 pair 25 and 6 so here first uh, from left side this is 6 6 is near to which square root 2 into 2 4 but 3 into 3 9 so this is crossing 6 now b4 value is 4 so we can take 2 2 is a 4 then do subtraction we subtract 6 minus 4 is 2 then next complete pair you should take down 25 not 1 1 digit then after this this value should be double we should make this unit double 2 becomes double is 4 then 225 we have to check with 4 so not only directly 4 4 you keep 41 ones or 42 twos are like you have to check 4 is in tens place now 41 ones are that is 42 twos are 43 threes are that should be near to 225 if you continue this 45 fives are you will get 225 so 45 fives are 225 so after subtract after making double this 2 to 4 now that should be in tens place so for once units digit you should uh, see the value 0 until you get 0 you should do now after getting 0 this is a place 25 is a square root square root of 625 okay let me take one some big number to find out this division method so we'll take one number here so take one calculator so let us take 91 into 91 is 8281 okay always take some more big problem 231 into 231 53361 53361 so this is the square root of 231 we know now let us use the same method now we will get that number or not to check it now according to our problem method is we should take from right side 2 to 1 1 pair 61 33 next to only one number is there 5 it is okay then a number is given from right side take to 1 1 pair then division 
the first set is 5 here ok 5 is for near to which square root that is 1 into 1 2 into 2 3 into 3 this is 1 this is 4 this is 9 so 9 is crossing this so before value 4 therefore 2 2 is a 4 now subtraction 5 minus 4 is 1 then we should take next pair completely down that is 33 then what I said the previous value the 2 which is there we should make double this value should be double we make it double it so into 2 now that is a 4 now not in 4 table we should take 4 is the tens place then check 4 1 1 41 1 sir. 42 same number you should take this two places should get same number next to 43 into 3 should be same number there so which is near to 133 that you take so 41 1 the 41 this is a 84 and 9 this is 129 and 44 into 4 this will be more than 133 16 176 is coming so lesser than this is 129 now let you take 43 I'm taking color for difference yeah so 43 3 is a 129 then to subtract because this 4 is doubled previous the tree we adjusted now that is 133 minus 129 is 4 then take the next set as it is to down 61 now now again the important thing is this 4 is as it is and this 3 should be double that is 6 now you can take 46 is into what these two places should be same because which is there that is as usual then we should fill with one more now 46 1 means 461 1 sir. 461 and 462 into 2 sir. that is 4 924 but this is exactly equal to 461 so 461 1 sir, 461 0 always after the ones place you should make double no 231 231 is exactly square root of 53361 so this is the method we'll use for division method so this is a shortcut apart from doing prime factorization method you can go for this method is easily okay hope you understood well and some more problems are there in this website you can go through so the foundation for iit.com in this there is some more examples and which are linked with this icse cbse ssc intermediate and please subscribe this channel because uh, this is only completely educational videos only we do upload so it will be you can go through uh, many which are linked which is related to the iit foundation as well as all subjects and in this website you can get complete information not only these studies but for any competitive exams or quantitative aptitude and IIT, JEM set everything which is completely free so you can uh, go through this channel as well as this website hope you understood well and thank you for watching bye bye